So this is a, a, a new thing, Sue. I'm doing this little mini podcast, I guess. Um, even though it's not truly under my FinTech Fridays podcast brand, but you and I have had a great engagement going on on LinkedIn. I think it's how we met on LinkedIn, which is kind of crazy. And um, I love the content you're putting out, the education you're you're bringing to the industry. It's so necessary. It's so needed. It's so timely. You've been a great supporter of some of the things that I'm uh, putting out. And so we did a little uh, DM message exchange, whatever they call that thing, whatever the kids call it. And uh, we said, let's jump on and create a couple short little talking points that we can share out to our audience. So first of all, great to meet you in person uh, virtually. <laughs> um, yeah, me too. Yeah, it's, it's, this will be fun. So let, let's talk about um, kind of what you've been doing really around credit education and, and bringing much needed information to, to the LinkedIn community. Um, I'm already seeing people use what you're doing and use that with consumers. So you may not think you're talking to consumers, but you're getting there and it's, it's really helping move the needle. And I love it. That, that's phenomenal to hear, Brian. Thank you so much for inviting me to be here today. Um, you know, I, I recorded my video earlier this morning. I said I've got I've got a, like 30 decades, and we're, it feels like that sometimes. <laughs> uh, but really, it's you know, it's three decades. Um, I tell people I started before FICO, and I intend on being here after they're gone. Um, and I hope they don't go anywhere. I have no death wish for FICO. But credit education, I, not knowing how to manage your credit is just so dangerous to me. I mean, it's like not knowing how to drive a car. Would you let your kid get in the car and drive without a license? Parents wouldn't do that. But we let our children every day go out in the world and, and become consumers. And they don't understand the gravity of that. Um, they don't understand how to build their credit. So that's really been my mission. And I would say it, it started back in 1985 when I started working for TransUnion. Um, I learned this business from the ground up, uh, from the inside out, so to speak, and uh, spent the best part of my career in the mortgage space and credit. And so I'm really focused on getting people educated about credit, about scores, and how it can impact your life positively or negatively. So I'm excited to be here today. Yeah, I love that. And and. A lot of the people that follow, you know, my LinkedIn profile and posts are in the mortgage space. Mm -hmm. Most are in kind of production originations. Yep. Um, and I don't know if you're seeing this, but I'm seeing a, a pretty rapid expansion around loan officers using their platforms to talk about things beyond mortgage, like financial fitness, financial literacy, and credit education. And so, are you, are you kind of seeing a similar uh, trend out there? You know, Brian, I am, and it's interesting. I think that's where, you know, the FinLocker product really caught my interest when you and I started, you know, t paying attention to each other on LinkedIn, right? That's one of the best things about LinkedIn is that you really get exposure to folks that maybe you didn't deal with in your day-to-day -day job. So, you know, having loan officers understand that educating people early on in the sales funnel is going to benefit them. Um, I think about a uh, poll that you did, right? And I and I told you I was in the eight percent, right? I said start educating them at their seventeen, right? Because you can sign a contract when you're eighteen. You can get a credit card that early. Yeah. So let's not wait till they're a home buyer. Um, but I think back again to those early days. You know, as a credit vendor and part of the reseller uh, process for many years, that was one of my value adds. Is I would go out and do credit education, home buyer education my credit unions, my loan officers. Now we've got something like FinLocker. You know, you don't need a body out there. Although I really think, uh, and I've always felt this way, you need high tech like FinLocker and high touch. Yes. That's, that's our, we believe that wholeheartedly. We don't, we don't believe that technology is going to disrupt the relationship part of uh, mortgage origination and financial education. So it's, uh, we're very much a, High tech meets high touch platform. Sue, this is a lot of fun. We're going to have to do this again real soon. Let's do it.